So we're going to rank all the Star Wars crossovers that have been in Fortnite ever. And we're going to do it in order of their release chronologically. And let me know in the comments which of these is your personal favorite. And let me know as well how you're feeling about the current update of Fortnite Battle Royale. Because honestly, I think it was a little bit on the iffy side. But I'll get into further details in this video. And I'll go into details about what was in each of these updates as well. Because I'm sure some of you have forgot or maybe you weren't even playing when these updates came out. So first we have the update that was for the ride of Skywalker and this is when Rey and Finn and everyone else came into the game this is also when JJ Abrams made an appearance in the game and actually dropped very pertinent lore to the sequel trilogy that never made it into those movies this is pretty interesting it's the first one we had and it had game-changing stuff it also had a bit of a live event and we check it out it was really just about cosmetics I don't remember if there was lightsabers in this I think there was but they were probably not their most powerful version it was just too little or you know maybe i'm being a bit too harsh i think i will have to put it into the s tier if i feel different later i may put it down but just being the first one and having so much at the time we do have to take it in context of what fortnite was back then next we have chapter two season five and this one actually had the mandalorian in it and the mandalorian was on the map you could get his sniper rifle you could get his jetpack a large portion of the map changed as well looking at the notes he was part of the battle Battle Pass, I did forget that. This is when you got Grogu. They were giving away Disney Plus. They were all in that season. The sniper rifle is probably one of my favorite weapons of all the Star Wars crossovers. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the S tier, above even the initial outing. The next Star Wars crossover was Boba Fett and a couple of side characters who I don't really remember who they were. That was in Flipped, and we got Boba Fett. Curse Santan and the Fennec Shan cosmetics because of their appearance in the book of Boba Fett. This is really just a cosmetic thing, so I'm gonna have to put it down at the bottom. The next one we have is the Obi-Wan crossover, and this one I remember being very good actually because it brought three different kinds of lightsabers and they all had different force powers to them. Obi-Wan show was pretty big at the time. It's probably one of the better Star Wars shows that came out. We had the blaster rifle, but no other weapon. I'm going to have to put this in S tier. For me, it's below the Mandalorian sniper because at the time, the Mandalorian sniper crossover season was way more exciting to me. It was way more novel. We kind of expected that there would be Star Wars crossovers in Fortnite, but that's not to say it wasn't great. It was a really great crossover. Next, we had the Vibin season, and this is when Darth Vader was in the Battle Pass. This is the first time we had Darth Vader's life lightsaber unfortunately this season itself ran very long Darth Vader's lightsaber as you've seen from my gameplay isn't really that influential in the game if we're looking at the other stuff you could get a, Vi a viper probe droid back bling lambda class shuttle there were stormtroopers as well truthfully there wasn't really much to this I'm gonna have to put unfortunately the vibe in season entirely into the D tier though it is above the pure cosmetic collab of the Boba Fett stuff Next, we have the original trilogy crossover, and I got to give this a little bonus point just because it's the best characters. This is when we got Han, Luke, and Leia, and uh, let me see what else was in this because I actually kind of forget the finer details. And this was in the Paradise season, which I really did like the Paradise season quite a bit, though it did kind of run long. Uh, you could get the E-11. Junk Riff was unvaulted with a chance to drop a land speeder. I never saw this. What? Unfortunately, it did not come with any weaponry or items on the map, so I can't give it that S tier. But I think it's the first one that is truly an A tier. Next, we have the Anakin and Padme update, and I believe this was for May the 4th. So I think we got the lightsabers back for this. Referring to the patch notes, this was called Find the Force. And there was actually quest to unlock cosmetics in game. You could get a free clone trooper skin. And this was the first time I think we had these mini battle passes. So you could get more troopers and Darth Maul as well. So there was lightsabers in here. And Darth Maul's lightsaber had a special power as well. Very nice. Very nice. So I am going to have to put this in the S tier. But I think think it was just Darth Maul's lightsaber. I don't think it was all the lightsabers. It did have Mace Windu's lightsaber. I remember now. So these ones, ah, just because the lightsabers are so good, I'm going to have to reorganize and put Chapter 2 Season 5 with the Mandalorian sniper below them because we care about lightsabers. We want the lightsabers to be good. We want good force powers. And these were two seasons or two events where you could actually use the lightsabers in your inventory. And we're going to have to drop that original 
crossover down to A tier. That season ran very long as well. I remember being done with that season a month before it was over. You know, it is kind of weird that the crossover took place in the game, but the lore never made it to the film. And now we have the current crossover with Fortnite. And we can't even say Fortnite Battle Royale. We have to say the Fortnite Multiverse because this crossover has things for every version of Fortnite, that being Battle Royale, Lego Mode, Festival, and Rocket Racing, which is by far the smallest. You may not have even played it. If we're to grade it on how influential it is on the Battle Royale, I think none of the weapons really have a use. The Wookiee Bowcaster is supplemental. Uh, it's the only thing I would consider picking up. But when we look at the Lego mode, there is a whole quest line, a whole special event that's going down in that mode. There is a special battle pass as well that is limited time in Lego Fortnite. It brought Chewbacca as well, which is a skin that I think a lot of people are gonna like. Overall, I think this crossover has to reach S tier. I didn't even mention the festival stuff where you can get the Cantina song and the rocket racing where you can unlock a couple vehicles. Pretty novel, but just by the sheer amount of stuff that is added to this game and how overarching it is, it has to make the S tier. If you agree or disagree with my rankings, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what your favorite Star Wars crossover was of all time. Maybe even your favorite skin or your favorite item and of course use code Sauron in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel but now let's get into this solo win I got with the Chewbacca skin from this limited time battle pass I didn't know the windmill would cancel my glider but that's kind of cool man it's kind of cool <laughs> Oh, Chewie just dies. No. <laughs> Once again, we weren't fast enough. We literally landed right next to it, but because we didn't land directly on top of it, we lost Chewbacca. Are you kidding? If he dies, make it so he respawns if that is not in storm. That's what I mean. Like, it barely even feels like there's a Star Wars crossover right now. It's all gone in the first act. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's too big to go over the cliff. It's litter. It's not going over the cliff. There we go. 66? I guess I didn't hit him directly. A 66. 50 shields. Yeah, 66 direct. Wow, dude, they really should have made this more powerful. It doesn't fire fast enough to justify such low damage. That's like a, that's the worst DMR. I'm gonna keep using it, even though the DMR would just be easy mode, man. I'm looking at DMRs even. If I find a sniper though, if it's like a good sniper with a four times, I'm probably gonna drop this. A few moments later. Mass. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna back up. Wow, is there really no way up this? Dude, who designed this? I gotta run all the f way around this hill. That is. That is not strategic at all. Very piss poor designing. Dude, that's all because I couldn't get up that hill to reposition on this guy. 
Ah, and there's my sniper. And dude, it's like I'm over here holding this Wookiee bow and it's making me feel like an idiot. Nice, and we have almost a full stack too. Hell yeah. He went way farther than me. Eventually. That's okay. Okay, we're not doing that there. Run. I think I hit him really big, actually. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Ah. Chewbacca dub as well. What up, lads? It's Sourheart from the Editing Bay, and I actually realized that I forgot a Star Wars crossover. This is actually so recent that the wiki I was using hasn't updated for it yet, but I think this is actually an S tier, though it's kind of the bottom. It did integrate the Battle Pass, and Ashoka was part of that. It did bring back the lightsabers for a limited time, but I think the real thing that makes it an S tier is that it was during the later part of Chapter 4, and to me, that is a modern peak of Fortnite. I think it's going to take some time for us to really appreciate how good that chapter was and I actually have a solo victory that I got from that season that I never really figured out what to do with it never made a video so here it is exclusively for you guys the sour heart diehards be sure to like subscribe and tell me what you thought of this Star Wars crossover and let me show you this awesome solo victory from last chapter Let's go! Ah. Yeah, dude, Breakwater win! Might be one of the most difficult wins of my life, bro. Oh my god. Let's go.